All right, guys, Rowdy Yates, High Plains Biochar. I've got something really interesting to show you guys today. This is a, what we're calling the Continue Tiki. This is a, uh, our version of the Contiki kiln that you may be familiar with. Uh, as you know, the regular Contiki kiln, just a pyramid-shaped kiln, very similar to the, the base that we have down here. Um, but they have some, there's certain drawbacks. Um, you know, sometimes they don't do well on uh, wet material or sometimes larger material has a hard time actually carbonizing in them. They can sometimes be smoky. Um, there's also a lot of water used in the quenching process to try to get that biochar uh, quenched. Um, and also just uh, uh, as far as they're very labor intensive as far as the amount of work that's involved with unloading them and still crushing the biochar up. And they aren't super forgiving for those larger pieces uh, because they, they can sometimes fall through there and end up not getting cooked all the way. And the biggest thing, the, one of the biggest challenges with the Contiki is just, just that you're having open flames in a lot of places and a lot of times a year. That's not possible. Earlier this week, we were not able to have uh, open flames. We've had red flag warnings here. But today we've got some snow, so we decided to go ahead and, uh, and go out and show you guys this, how this works. Um, but this is the Continue Tiki. We've kind of solved some of those issues where we reduced the amount of labor that's involved because we actually have an auger system here for uh, unloading the biochar. We reduce the amount of water that's being used because we can control that here as the, bio, as the biochar is coming up the tube and uses a whole lot less water than just flood quenching. Um, this is also very forgiving for larger material because there's a grate in here that prevents those larger pieces from falling down so they just stay on top and continue to cook uh, until they're actually fully carbonized and then they fall through. Um, we've got control of the air, uh, which also allows us to control the emissions and the temperature uh, inside of here. Um, and we've also fully contained the flames so that there's no longer an open flame out here so that means that these could be utilized now for heating purposes you could actually you know wrap a coil around this you could put this you know in a greenhouse type situation and operate it but so these are have some really big advantages over your normal uh, contiki kiln but today we're going to uh, to run this um, some of the features that we have on this machine are We've got a uh, thermocouple, so we can actually measure the temperature uh, that, the, that the biochar is being cooked at. Um, we've got a, a vibrator that helps vibrate this bin to help the material flow through the auger system. We've got a pump system uh, for quenching the biochar here. Um, and then we've got our auger uh, that we have speed control on so we can control how fast this is coming out. Um, but anyhow, uh, today we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how we operate it here. So I'm gonna load some wood in the uh, bin and get going. Okay guys, so we've got some wood loaded in the stove. We've got our uh, air vents opened up so that we can get some air through the system and we're gonna go ahead and light the fire. Okay guys, so we're back, we're up to temperature now. Let's see, we are at about 450 C, it looks like on our temp gauge. I just wanna show you guys kind of what's going on inside here. We got our fire going. You, as you can tell, the stainless is discoloring but the other thing i want you guys to notice is that the emissions up there you can see it's against a pitch white background and there's nothing coming out of that pipe so even though this is a very simple machine it also really does a great job of cleaning up the emissions from the usual contiki style kiln okay guys so we're back here we've stopped feeding wood everything has fallen through the grate uh, down into the lower portion of this for this little test run and now we're going to Go ahead and quench the biochar and get everything to run on through. So we're going to kick on our pump and start adding some water to this. And then we're going to go ahead and kick on our auger and we'll start uh, bringing some material out. All right, guys, so our biochar is starting to come out of the machine right now. You're starting to see the big chunk. And that's kind of the beauty of this setup is that uh, this biochar is, all, is already quenched and ready to go. And uh, we could theoretically have a bag or whatever kind of container here. We're even thinking about putting a, uh, a little grinder right here that would resize the uh, material right as it fell into a bag to try to make it easier. But this is the uh, Continue Tiki from High Plains Biochar. And uh, stay tuned for more videos and uh, we'll show you more about uh, how this machine works.